Hello and welcome. Uh, just wanted to give you a, a run through of what this setup is that I'm putting together. Uh, this is an old, probably mid 80s, Palcon uh, 300 ST. It's a good, uh, just an arc buzz box, really. It's a uh, DC inverter. Runs up to 300 amps on three phase. I'm running on a uh, Ungrounded one phase. Yes, it does work with that. Plug it into the old, uh, what you call it? One phase, 220 volt dryer output. Right now I got a Vulcan uh, valve 17 tick torch on that. Uh, I had a video earlier of how to meld that. To one of these Tweco, uh, I got one over here. Oh man, bear with me. One of these Tweco, um, <coughs> getting old. Tweco inputs, it's just a, it's a twist lock. They're a little bit bigger than the, uh, the standard DENS connectors that you see these days. And I used a, a cable rod, or cable, what do you call it? Just a cable end, one of the uh, set screw types to put it together. Put one of these uh, shrouds around it, cut the end out so that the, uh, the adapter for argon would fit with it. And that turns, of course, into this, which is just a 3570... Uh, gas through uh, DINS connector that's running up through this torch you can get for you're about 80 bucks probably gonna change that out to a uh, gas lens here shortly uh, stubby kit and you might be wondering why I've got a valve on here so the valve is not necessarily it's not necessary with the uh, with this uh, 300 ST simply for the fact that there is a uh, uh, there's a solenoid inside the machine which as soon as the arcs initiated this being one of the it's not really a high frequency but it's a uh, I don't even know how to describe the freaking thing it's a uh, I don't know it, it does what it does <laughs> it's pretty much a high frequency start uh, almost a lift start TIG. Um, yes, you can run a pedal with it. Yes, you can run a, uh, a torch mounted switch. It did come with a, and this is old, 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 late 70s, early 80s. It's a thumb controller taking place of a pedal. It's really good for, uh, I use this, this box for stick every once in a while. Um, haven't had it for too long, but that does work. Plan on getting a pedal once I get a bench set up in the uh, yield shop here. You can call it a shop, it's pretty much a shed. Um, but I just wanted to show you that yes, you can get a, an inexpensive uh, 17 size, so 150 amp TIG torch. Yes, I'm going to get a CK, uh, probably 200, probably going to get a 9 through a 200. Uh, as I go with it, but for right now, this should do perfectly. Um, as soon as I get argon, I'll uh, show you how it works. Um, but yes, as I was saying, sorry, I got sidetracked. Hold on a second. Uh, as soon as I get argon, I'll show you what I mean. It does have an internal solenoid. But, 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 I can hook up your argon line straight to the outlet and use the valve uh, just as, you know, kind of a remote, you know, I'm going to be fabbing up some, some cages on my car in a bit. Uh, and that is sort of useful. Might kind of get in the way, but it is, it is sort of useful. Even for a 
cheap 17 torch like that. Um, that's that's pretty much all I got for you. Just wanted to kind of show you how all that melds together. Seems a little bit hacked when you're looking at it on the bench, but it does come together quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, that's it.